Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create grids in Tecla structures in USA environment with this example. Okay, I will provide this PDF example link in the description below of this video. Please download and practice along with this video. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures in USA environment. Now I'm going to open our example. You can see in our example, we have grid like this uh, with grids in horizontal direction we have six grids and in vertical direction we have four grids with label a b c d now coming to the spacing you can see now we have spacing between these two grids we have 20 feet we can call it as a base spacing you can see 20 feet and 15 and 20 15 and 20 feet in horizontal direction in vertical direction we have 15 12 feet and 15 feet okay i'm going to create this example uh, grid example in tecla structures so okay open this tecla structures in usa environment to edit this grid so double click on this grid now i'm going to change these values so just remove all values in x and y and z direction now i'm going to enter in x direction values so let's open our example you can see in our example in uh, x direction horizontal direction we have first grid so one so in first grid we have at exactly at the coordinate location so we need to enter here zero value and give space now coming to next grid we have spacing base spacing here 20 feet so we need to enter here 20 feet base spacing so enter here 20 feet and give space and next spacing we have 15 feet so enter here 15 feet and give space and enter next value 20 feet give space next value we have 15 feet enter here 15 feet and give space and next value here 20 feet it's the last value so now coming to y direction in y direction we have first grid uh, a uh, a grid we have at exactly at the location xyz coordinate so we need to enter here zero and give space and next value we have 15 feet so enter here 15 feet and give space and next base spacing we have 12 feet so enter here 12 feet and give space and next value have 15 feet so enter here 15 feet now coming to z direction in z direction we need to take the values uh, for example the bottom level we're going to take here zero and first floor level we're going to take here 12 feet and next floor level we have 24 feet okay this is a floor level from ground level the, the spacing between ground to first floor and the spacing between ground to second floor 24 feet okay now coming to labels we need to enter here labels so you can see in horizontal direction we have one two three four five six grids so we need to enter here six so we have currently we have one two three four five and give space and enter six similarly we're going to enter the y direction because we a b c d so by default we have a b c d otherwise you need to enter here a b c d like that for example let's take a and give space b space c space d just like that now coming to z direction we need to enter label and floor levels so first floor level we have zero and second floor level we have plus 12 feet and give space and next floor we have 15 feet okay now to enter here before plus symbol so click on modify to update this grid you can see now this grid is updated according to our example so close this window and click on space right click on mouse redraw okay now we need to fit this model according to this grid spacing so click on space right click on mouse fit work area to entire model now this work area changed according to this grid okay now now we're going to create views so click on grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines by default we have the titles here plan and elevation on grid and elevation on grid in z y and x z planes so then click on create and click on ok and click ok now go to view list by using the shortcut ctrl i otherwise you can click on here window and select this option view list to open view list we have another option also click on views and then click on here you can see view view list so click on here view list to open view list like this okay now you can scroll like this to op oh, maximize this window like this okay currently we required planet zero so select this option planet 
uh, plus zero level and click on this arrow to open you can see now here planet plus zero level click on window you can see now this uh, view is activated you can see this arrow indicates the current view planet elevation zero okay now i'm going to measure these dimensions and match with this example uh, spacing so go to edit and click on this measure and select this option horizontal distance and zoom it here and pick the first point and pick the second point now click the click on here side side of the dimension line to create the dimension at here 20 feet similarly we're going to create remaining spacing click on first point second point and side of dimension and pick this first point and second point and click on here to create the dimension and do the same procedure first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension and pick the first point and second point and place the dimension here right click on mouse interrupt to exit the command now similarly we need to create the dimensions in vertical direction also the base spacing in vertical direction so click on here and select this vertical distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension okay do the same processor first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension and pick the first point and second point and side of the dimension to create the dimension like this right click on mouse interrupt now we're going to check these dimensions with our example because in our first spacing we have 20 feet and 15 20 15 and 20 feet similar like that 20 and 15 20 15 and 20 feet now coming to y direction you can see we have 15 feet and 12 feet and 15 feet you can see 15 feet 12 feet and 15 feet just like this okay these are the checking dimensions you can remove this dimension then click on space right click on mouse click on space right click on mouse redraw view you can see now these dimensions are removed now click on this window and select this 3d view to open the 3d view like this similarly we're going to check the levels also so go to elevation view click on window and select this view list and we're going to check for example take let's take this elevation on grid one and select this uh, in this list and then click on this arrow to uh, move this uh, title on right side window to visible on background so select it right click on this arrow and close this window you can see currently we have elevation on grid one you can see now you can see the levels 0 12 feet and 15 feet like this we need to change this title you can see double click on it we're going to enter here 24 feet because uh, our second floor level is the 24 feet so we need to enter here 24 feet then click on modify to update you can see 24 feet like this okay now we're going to measure these dimensions so before that and click on window and select this view list now remove this all views select it and hold the shift and select both and click on this arrow to move this direction because we need to change this title here so you can select this option planet level 15 feet so click on this arrow to open this feed. this level should be 20, 24 feet so double click on it on background you can change from here the title so for example let's take 24 feet then click on modify and apply ok now coming to the title you can see in view list planet level 24 feet now go to elevation view on grid 1 open this arrow and close it currently we are in elevation on grid 1 so you can see the label names 0 12 feet and 24 feet now we're going to measure the spacing also so click on edit and select this measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point at here click on here to place the dimension you can see 12 feet from ground to first floor level similarly we're going to check the second floor level also so pick the first point here and pick the second point here and click on here to place the dimension right click on mouse interrupt you can see from ground to second floor level we have 24 feet like this okay to remove this checking dimensions then click on space right click on mouse to draw view to erase the dimensions now click on window and select this 3d view to open 3d view like this okay to rotate this model use the shortcut control and mouse middle button hold the mouse middle button to rotate like this move the cursor left and right to and top and bottom to move the rotation like this to pan this window use the only use the mouse middle button or scroll button press it and you can pan it like this on left or right and top or bottom 
okay to zoom use the scroll option just to scroll it zoom or zoom in and zoom out like this okay that's it about how to create grids in tecla structures in usa environment if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please join my channel i will provide doubt clarification videos and requested videos only for joint members so i request you please join my channel okay thank you